I guess I should have came with a warning label. If you're very self-expressive. If you resonate with your truth as you know it, as you view it, as you see it. If you unapologetically communicative, yet respectful in the way you communicate, then you probably feel like you should have came with a warning label sometimes too. It's crazy that we in a time where people act like they shock when they hear certain truths, certain realities, things that we deal with every day, you know, nothing extraordinary, everything, every everyday situation, but people reactions to different perceptions of viewing everyday things. It's usually the ones that's been the underdog or that's been overlooked that be the angels that, that hold the keys. So wherever your journey take you, wherever your journey leads you, however you got it on it, whoever you led to, don't go off in the woods. Don't be misled in the alleyway. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. It ain't gonna lead you wrong. <laughs> um. To grow, to mature, you got to be willing to make errors. And it's an honor not only to be here, but it's an honor to be in the space the, the way I'm not only willing to make errors so I can continue to learn, continue to grow. I'm willing to be able, it's an honor to be able to acknowledge that I'm willing to make errors. Because once again, we're in a time where if you pay attention to how people move, how people act, how people behave, how people communicate, how people express themselves, you'll swear we're in a time where everybody perfect. When truth is, Life so imperfectly perfect that it that it a lot allowed us to be birthed in it to do a whole lot of work. Cause it's a whole lot of work to do. It's a whole lot of work to do to perfect the life that we live in. Why do I bring that up? Because it's easy to look worse trying to make ourselves look better and don't even know it. Listen and you won't miss it. But we definitely got to pay attention. I got to pay attention more to myself than I, than I hope y'all going to pay attention whenever y'all tap in and listen to the message for the day. It's easy to look worse trying to look better. <laughs> Let 
And y'all may say, man, what, what do Sun Wu mean by that? And y'all know I'm going to tell you, I ain't going to leave you hanging. Because it ain't good to have a bad track record at being unaccountable. Or it ain't good to have a bad track record of not taking accountability. That means not taking account for nothing that you ever involved in. How many of us know people like that? And what's crazy is, I didn't know how distasteful I was to unaccountability until I got a chance to observe it and live in color. I see the wrong, clear as day. I hear the wrong being expressed clear as day. And for whatever reason in the world, the receiver and the recipient who the wrong was trying to be expressed to so a correction could be made, couldn't see it, couldn't hear it for nothing in the world. And I was like, wow. It's easy to look worse trying to look better. People a lot to do it. People will manipulate to do it. People will steal to do it. People will cheat to do it. In some cases, people are murdered to do it, depending on what they don't want to be exposed. All because we don't want to take accountability. Fear of how the truth gonna make us look. I just spoke about it. Type of, the type of people, they story never straight. It's always somebody else's fault. Matter of fact, I'm probably being blamed for something right now by one of them type of people. Never take accountability. <laughs> I'm telling you, who mess you being blamed for right now that you ain't got nothing to do with? Real talk. thought the mission was to get everybody aware and if the mission is to get everybody aware then what are we being made aware of good go with bad bad go with indifferent Indif indifference indifference it's the, it's the beam in the middle that give you a chance to decide which way you want to go. We always going to have gatekeepers and we always going to have gate watchers. Especially involving seen and, seen and unseen mental applications to things. We're always going to have gatekeepers and gate watchers. And the purpose of that is because as we continue to evolve and expand through life, as we continue to become aware of our divinity, our layers, our levels, our ranks, our dominions, it comes in degrees, you know, 
or a crown <laughs> our birthright is established in degrees through our experiences you don't have to belong to a particular school of thought a lodge or a society or any of those things you could you could learn these you could you could you could learn the walk of life the true life through the observation of yourself through the self brutal honesty of your own actions behavior and words your thoughts feelings and emotions Initiation, apprenticeship, mastery. Those are the three levels to the crown, the crown of yourself. And you gotta go inside to get it. We can go to this, we can go to them stores and put all the buy all the crowns we want and put on our head. But in the spiritual realm, you gotta go inside to establish your crown. You gotta go inside to be able to sit on your throne so you can establish your crown. Why well, I point that out? Because titles are being confused with character, or titles are being misused to confuse us from seeing the character. Why do I point that out? Because whatever we call ourselves, <laughs> we need to act like it. It's easy to get caught up in terms and titles and really be the total complete opposite of the term and title that we would like to identify ourselves with. I've been there before, so I get it. If your character, if your character outweigh the titles that you have to deal with, then I salute you. Because if your character outweigh the titles you may have to deal with through some of the people you have to deal with, then that say a lot about you to them. I salute you. I salute all those who the world felt like, or I, I salute all those who was made to feel like you couldn't be great too. I'm here to remind you that you could be great too. However, it may be some things that you no longer need to get to your greatness. So whatever you need to let go to have what you need or have what you want, I hope you're prepared to be able to do it because it's the time of release, you know. Saturn moving into Pisces, you know, Pisces is a 12th house, sign of illusions, sign of dreams, also the sign of hitting enemies. <laughs> Pluto moving into Aquarius. For the new moon, the last one of this month. Also coming into the spring equinox. Why am I pointing these things out? Because there's a lot of big things popping in the universe. A lot of big energy popping in the universe. I've been having, you know, today I've been having dealing with little headaches. The energy been so strong, I gotta integrate it and balance it. So y'all stay um breathe. Stay breathing, breathe deep. Meditate, you know, take a quiet moment when you need to, stretch, do whatever. I know something definitely going on because it snowed today. We're getting ready for spring and it, and it snowed today. You know, the wind blowing crazy out there right now, it's shifting. Yeah. Whatever you call yourself, act like it. As we go around this clock from Aries to Pisces, we either gonna be all one 
of pieces. You gotta listen to catch it. The Aries, the Pisces, all one or pieces. That's how Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. But if you listen, you can put yourself together again. Nobody, cause nobody said that we gotta keep coming back here. In the hardest battle, <laughs> and the hardest battle is the battle we fight being ourselves. I love being authentic, be me. Um, what else can I say before I go? It ain't easier said than done, ain't it? Not in the 3D. But it's easier done than said in the 5D. Thanks to my brother Vinny Blacklock for reminding me of that. But everybody ain't there yet. So I like to say it, it ain't easier said than done. But it is. If you could build up the type of faith the way you know it's done as soon as you say it in the 5D realm. And then you can fold it in into your third dimensional manifestation. It is done. Easier done than said. The hardest battle is to fight to be ourselves. Stay light, family. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Hold yourself accountable. Salute.